Yep, all you got to do is find out the uh, Bible the world hates the most. The one that everybody rails against, you know, for being racist and homophobic and all that stuff. And you will know what Bible to use. Hey everybody, Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. You know, um, I know I harp on the King James, and I know that probably 90% of the so-called uh, preachers, whatever you want to call them out there, will tell you, oh, the King James is wrong, and blah, 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 and whatever. Uh, you notice none of the people on TBN or 700 Club use it, at least none that I would know of. But, uh, you know, not to be bragging, but when I was uh, taking classes at Bible College, uh, it was Baptist. You know, it had its good points. It had its bad points. But the um, one thing, they did like the King James, even though they ruined it, uh, the studies with the uh, dispensational theology. You know, so even though it's in the Bible, the King James, even though it's in there, they say, oh, well, that's a different time period, and they explain it away. And dispensations has nothing to do with time periods. It's a dispensation is, well, it might be, if I hand you a dollar, there is a point of time when I took the dollar from my hand and put it in your hand. But it's not... A, has it doesn't have to do with a time clock okay but um i mean there's a point of time for everything but uh it comes from the root word dispense which means to give something moses dispensed the law from the lord 10 commandments and christ dispensed grace and mercy by the shedding of his blood so but uh, i took i took a class on uh, why the king james bible actually a couple and not just bible college but i i studied the bible versions issue even before i went to bible college i bought uh the parallel bible which has four different versions and i had I, I on my on the floor of my place where I was staying I probably had 10 12 different versions of the Bible I would read the King James and then I would read the others and what was really interesting was when you would see what was missing from the modern Bibles or what was changed in the modern Bibles because that was very very telling to me that told me the direction of where Satan's kids were trying to hurt us uh, H-E-R-D like a herd of cattle which will hurt us as in pain and suffering but uh, it was a really interesting study and then when I was in, um, uh, well, after I'd gotten out of Bible cemetery, I should call it, uh, I got to say, you know, about 85%, 90% of Bible college was all right. But when they start telling you uh, dispensational theology, you know, you can read this in the Bible, but it doesn't apply to us. Uh, it just... I don't know. What do you say? It leaves a bad taste in your mouth, I guess you could say. Ruins everything. But, you know, think about it. What is rat poison? It's mostly good food with a little bit of poison mixed in with it. And that's what, uh, yeah, that's what bad theology is. It's mostly good food with some poison mixed in with it. 
But just by seeing the things that were left out of the modern Bibles and things that were changed and how they would fit in together made me realize the direction that they were trying to take us with these modern Bibles. Now, Gail Ripplinger, in her New Age Bible Versions book, was, boy, it was very scholarly. Matter of fact, there's a guy named uh, Peter Ruckman. He was uh, considered himself a Baptist, and when he came to the King James Bible, he was pretty good, for the most part. Of course, he thought the Antichrist were God's chosen people, and uh, I don't know where he got that get the got that from, because you know, you, I never get that from reading the Bible. I, I don't know. At least not reading the words of Jesus, anyways. You know, Jesus never condemned the Romans, but uh, their other group of people, yeah, he did condemn all the time for their hypocrisy and what have you. So, but uh, he was, I don't know, I don't know if I'd call him a scholar for the King James, but in some circles, he is considered that. And he said that Gail Ripplinger's book was far better than anything that he had ever done. So, I don't know. And her story is really interesting. She was an instructor at Kent State University, and she was counseling some uh, Christian girls, you know, in college. You know, they just get out of high school, and they're having trouble with their faith. You know, they're you go to college, and uh, what do they teach you? They teach you evolution and all this other garbage. And she was counseling these girls, and she would... Now, this is her story. I'm just repeating paraphrasing or repeating what I remember her telling a story, that they would come to her and she would give them the comfort verses in the Bible, like in the book of Psalms. So they would take out their NIV or whatever new Bible they had, and it wouldn't be in there. And she's like, wait a minute, what's going on here? And she'd show them in the King James. And, yeah, this is in my Bible. Why? Wait a minute, why isn't this in your Bible? And she said the uh, the new versions had a different, uh, I don't know what the word would be. I, I guess you could say it had a mean disposi dispensa dispensa disposition, disposition. I mean, all the good things were removed and... You know, and she actually showed from the NIV, whereas in Isaiah 14, they removed the word Lucifer and inserted a word that Jesus called himself. Thus, they remove Lucifer and insert Morning Star, which Jesus said he was. Thus, making Jesus going down to the pit of hell making Jesus Lucifer. And you got people like James White. Supposedly, he's a Presbyterian, uh, Calvinist, whatever. But he doesn't use the Bible that Calvin would use, which was the Geneva. Oh, no. All, he, his whole ministry is bashing the King James Bible. That's his entire ministry. And... Uh, you think he has a problem with uh, the NIV calling the morning star Christ going down to the pit of hell in Isaiah 14? No, of course not. You know, I'm actually looking forward to the day that uh, these people get to meet Christ. I, I look forward to that. And these devils actually have the audacity to condemn Gail Ripplinger. I mean, she's such a meek lady. I I have prayed for James White's destruction and death. 
And sadly, the Lord hasn't answered my prayer, but one day, one day. Uh, but it's amazing. But if you really want a good thing on why the modern Bibles are trash from the pits of hell, I suggest you get Gail Ripplinger's book. It's not that much money. You can get a paperback, probably under 20 bucks, you know. I've read it. I don't agree with all her conclusions, but her research is right on. And one of the things they'll do, for example, the NIV has gone through several revisions, okay? And what they'll do is they'll say, oh, well, Gail Ripplinger's book says that the NIV says this here, but it doesn't. Well, in the version that she quoted, it does. But what they do is they revise the NIV. I think there's been like four or five printings and they've changed it. And then they'll say, oh, well, Gail Ripplinger lied and she makes all this stuff up. But the publisher is the one that changed it. And when you find out that the NIV is exclusively published by the uh, by Zondervan. They have the exclusive contract to print the NIV. Zondervan used to be a Christian run a company, well, a company run by Christians, Bernie Zondervan. But they were sold to Harper Collins, and Harper Collins prints the Satanic Bible. Harper Collins prints the Joy of Gay Sex, a pictorial how-to. So if you ever want to be a sob, uh, poke men in the rear uh that would be the book to learn it from i suppose but i'm going to pass on that and i don't mean to be crude but this is the kind of stuff that they print can you imagine printing the satanic bible the parent company that prints the satanic bible owns the company that prints the niv and then they'll james white will turn around and say well zondervan sells the king james bible too well, yeah, they do, but the thing is, anybody can print the King James in the United States. There is no copyright on it. It's too old. But only Zondervan can print the NIV, last I checked. So, uh, another thing, too. The New American Standard Version. It was put together by the Lockman Foundation, Dewey Lockman. I went to the Lockman Foundation website, found out he was a Freemason, a Masonic Lodge uh, member when he was alive. And they have since re removed that little tidbit. I wish I would have saved all that stuff, but I didn't. So you could take my word for it or you can throw it away. I don't care. All I know is I don't trust anything that comes from Freemasonry. And oh, by the way, they'll show you Masonic symbols on the original King James. But I ask you a question. Was it a Masonic publisher that printed the original King James? Or did the Masons adopt the symbols that was on the cover of the original King James? I don't know. I don't know if the original publisher was a Mason or perhaps later the Masons adopted those symbols. I don't know. I mean, look at the rainbow. Rainbow in Genesis, the first few chapters of Genesis, was a symbol of God promising not to destroy the entire earth in the flood. Now what is the rainbow a symbol of? Pride of those that were uh, had fire and brimstone rain down on them with uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Yeah, that kind of pride. So, you know, and to be gay. In the 1920s, to be gay meant to be happy. What does it mean today? It means you're a... Uh, well, yeah, you get the idea. 
I don't even like saying certain words because uh, the Al Gore rhythm likes to uh, look up certain keywords and uh, then delete certain videos. So, but I'll tell you what, Gail Ripplinger's book is worth buying and studying. It really is. Um, you know, few people have spent the time looking into things like I have. I mean, I, most people will spend four to six hours a day watching television. Maybe not every day, but like on weekends, it's just, you know, turn it on. I, I didn't even own a television for a long time. And I didn't miss it. So I spend my time doing other things, research. Um, you know, to do a, an hour Bible study sometimes takes two or three hours of research just to uh, gather the material. And then I got to throw it together. Well, perhaps throw is not a good word, but to put it all together. So it, it can, not always, not always, but, you know, sometimes. And I try to keep everybody abreast of what's going on. I think I'm going to do another series on uh, get home bags. Like a like a disaster bag because of all the crazy stuff going on. You know, you can't depend on the government to uh, look out after you. That's for sure. They don't, they don't care about us. They'll send uh, billions to Ukraine and a certain country in the Middle East. But uh, God forbid you get hit by a hurricane uh, and you can, you can die and they don't care. So, yeah. And I don't care which party you vote for. They're all the same. You know, they only talk differently. And all those promises before the election, pff, dust in the wind after the election. Dust in the wind. So, yeah. Uh, so... I don't know. What do you think, everybody? Should we do a disaster a disaster bag? I mean, let's face it. The 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 um, the future of the church is going to be the wilderness one day. All these idiots that believe in the preacher of rapture, they only believe this garbage because they don't study the Bible. Kent Hovind, probably the best anti-evolution. Bible teacher that I've encountered in my lifetime. He went to Baptist schools and he was all pre-trib rapture. And then he went to prison for nine and a half years where his family dumped him. And when he was studying his Bible, he's like, I can't find the pre-trib rapture anywhere in this. And all those Baptist churches that, oh, brother Hoven, we love you. Come, come on over. And they would advertise, oh, Ken Hovind's going to be on this church this weekend. And they would pack the church full and pass that collection plate around. And they loved him and they loved him to death. But then when he said the pre-trib rapture is not true, they don't want him anymore. Same person. He makes evolution look stupid. College professors with doctorate degrees, PhDs. They don't even want to debate him anymore because he makes them look like fools that they are. You know, so uh, what does the Bible call it? Uh, fa science falsely so-called? Yeah. So what can I tell you, people? So should I do a survival bag study? I'm thinking about it. I've got a survival series on my playlist. 
But uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. All those people in uh, Carolina right now probably wish they had survival bags and wish they knew what they could eat and what to do with the water is polluted. I mean, it's just, we're going to have to depend on ourselves, people, and the Lord, and the Lord, especially the Lord. But, uh, you know, and I think one of the most important things you could have in your uh, survival bag is a King James Bible. Uh, that's my opinion. So, I don't know, people. Gail Ripplinger, R-I-P-L-I-N-G-E-R, -E New Age Bible Versions. On Amazon, probably about 20 bucks. You can't go wrong. If you're, I'll tell you what, it's a scholarly book. It really is. But by the time you get done with it, you know which Bible to use. And oh, by the way, those gay-friendly churches in San Francisco, guess what Bible they use? If they don't use the NIV, because guess what? The original NIV, the first edition of the NIV, you could not prove to me that sodomy was a sin. You couldn't do it. It wasn't in there. They called them temple prostitutes. Well, we're not in the temple and I'm, I'm not charging, they'll say. Uh, but they also use the queen, queen, Q-U-E-E-N, and I'm not talking about the music group, Freddie Mercury. I used to listen to that garbage. That was back in the 70s anyways. The Queen James Bible, where all those horrible homophobic passages have been removed. Praise their God, Lucifer. Anyway, so. Oh, what can I tell you? Unbelievable, people. What a time we're living in. But I tell you what, I think uh, I think we need to do a survival series. I really do. Tell me what you think. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.